Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome to a new video. And in this video, we are going to explore a Kegel dataset that is about mushroom classification. And in this video, we are going to explore and compare the accuracies of uh, uh, decision tree and random forest and the complete visualization I'm going to show you. So before going to the coding screen, if you are new on this channel, you can like our videos and subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on the social media links. So this is the data set I'm talking about that is a mushroom classification UCI machine learning by UCI machine learning and it was updated four years ago. So first of all, as you can see my data, so all the data around, uh, okay, we will see, we will uh, analyze the complete data set, but this is the most important thing that is attribute information because here, as you can see, all the columns are labeled, right? So you should see this attribution file. I've also copied the same thing in my notebook also. You can refer that also. Okay, so let's go to the notebook. So, and I also need a suggestion from you guys that I should uh, teach in dark mode or I should uh, switch back to white mode for teaching purpose, okay? So tell me in the comments. So let's start analyzing the data first. So I'm importing NumPy and Pandas. And yes, for your kind information, this is my data already. Uh, given by me from the Kegel, I don't need to download because I'm using a Kegel kernel. I'm not using Collab this time, okay? Because I don't want to download this data and then upload on Google Collab. So you can also use Collab, uh, sorry, Kegel kernel. So I'm importing NumPy and Pandas. And then I am importing matplotlib.pyplot and cbon as a SNS. And then I am reading my CSV. So for reading it, you can just go over here and copy this, like copy file path button click on this button and just paste it in the single quotes right so i am now exploring my data so df dot head so as you can see 23 columns are there and all the labels are uh, the values of all these labels are given in labels and uh, there is a, there is a meaning of each and every label in each and every column right so we are going to explore what these labels actually mean right and for that you can just go to the below of my notebook and as you can see i have pasted this attributes here so you don't need to switch back to the data set and read what that means so as you can see in the cap shape column b means bell shape c means conical shape x means convex shape f means flat shape k means knobbed shape and s means sunken shape right so as now like this you can just uh, if you don't know the meaning of that label you can come here and see what that means so as you can see in cap surfaces f means fibrous g means groups like this okay without wasting more time let's go further then i am checking the shape of my data set that is 8124 rows and 23 columns right now i am checking if there is any null value in my data set so using uh, df dot is null function dot sum function all right so as you can see there is no null that's a very good thing for us Let's go further. So now I'm plotting a count plot. So using cborn sns dot count plot df at class. So as you can see in my class, which is actually my output, that is whether the uh, this uh, mushroom species is uh, poisonous or it is edible. So there are only two values in this class column, that is p and e, poisonous or edible. So I'm uh, plotting a count plot. So as I can see, the e, that is edible mushroom species, are more than the poisonous mushroom species, right? their count is actually more now coming to the next thing i am using a figure uh, using matplotlib so plt dot figure and figure size is 14 comma 6 that is your size then i am using a cat category plot from cborn that is sns dot cat plot in the x uh, let me zoom out so that you can see the graph okay i'll explain this but first of all see this what i am printing in x i am plotting the cap shape column in uh, hue i am giving the cap color so that means all my data is going to get differentiated according to the cap color column and in uh, column that is your class that means it is going to divide my uh, categories with respect to class that means this graph that like here from here to here it is uh, about the poisonous that means uh, you can see that is class is poisonous so this graph is for poisonous mushroom species and this graph is for edible mushroom species so we can compare it side by side Right, so this is the meaning of that. Uh, height is eight, aspect ratio is one point seven. Count kind is count plot, data is my df. Right, so now I want to know which species uh, suits uh, uh, best for the edible purpose, eating purpose, and which species uh, suits best for poison purpose. Like it is poisonous, I can't eat that. Right, so I want to find out. 
so i can see let me zoom out so that you can see i can see that in the edible class category uh, sorry graph in this graph as i can see these buildings this one this one that is blue red uh, green also then purple then this green are uh, reaching to the maximum counts right so but i can also see that in the poisonous uh, graph these blue blue red then purple are also common like these uh, three four colors red uh, then and check out this uh, shape also like x that is convex shape like this so these are like common so in x part this is also very high in edible part this x is also very high so that means uh, i can't compare i can't tell that this mushroom that this shape and this color mushroom uh, must be edible or it must be poisonous so i can't tell that right so i must go to second uh, uh, second x uh, value and check uh, so as i can see that in b that is bell shaped mushrooms and the green color is very low over here so i can tell that if my mushrooms are bell shaped and this green that means green uh, doesn't mean that green color but it's just a label so g means uh, i can i should go to this color that is green and it is selling that w so w stands for white color so this means that white colored as you can see i have written the inference white colored and bell shaped how i am telling this so this green building that means which is reaching the highest plot and it is reaching the minimum almost minimum over here so i can say that this building must be edible only it is a good for eating purpose so as as you can see i have written that white colored and bell shaped mushrooms are highly recommended for eating purpose right and if you want to check for which mushrooms are poisonous so you should check such kind of plots in poisonous graph which are lowest in uh, eating graph that is edible graph so i can see that purple building in k that is knob shape right if you don't know the meaning of this label you can go down and check it out so that means that purple building in k shape is very low over here right but this blue red are also high over here so i can't differentiate between these shapes but i can differentiate it between k purple right because it is lower here so k means knobbed shape and i want to check the color so you should check the meaning of this purple so in purple as you can see it means e and what is the meaning of e just go down go to cap color so cap color and e e stands for red that means red colored knobbed shape mushrooms are highly recommended for poisonous that means they are not recommended for eating so as you can see i have written the inference red colored knob shaped mushrooms are poisonous so you should not eat those mushrooms right coming to the next cell i am again plotting a matplotlib figure using figure size uh, 14,6 size and again i am drawing a category plot and x this time i have given order hue i have given bruces and column i have given again class and this time i am using a palette that is inferno palette right so now i am differentiating my data in terms of order and hue that is bruces so as you can see according to my inference orderless and bruised mushrooms are highly recommended for eating how i am telling it this purple building in edible graph is not there in this poisonous graph right so i can tell that this n order that means no order uh, if you don't know the meaning just go down let me go down and check that in order what does this n mean so it means none that means no order so the mushrooms with uh, no order that means orderless mushrooms and purple category so check out the purple bruces in uh, purple means t so go to bruces and check out what is the meaning of t t means bruised that means the mushrooms which are orderless and bruised are good for eating purpose right so this is the meaning and this is the meaning of this visualization right so you are understanding what is the significance of visualization right and so here as you can see that the fishy order that means f stands for fishy you can go down and check fishy order is not that much big over here that means it is zero over here so that means fishy order and orange that means no bruises oh sorry bruised just let me go down and check what is the meaning of bruises f means no bruises right and this orange is also f uh, yes f so that means no bruises 
and fishy order mushrooms are uh, poisonous that means fishy order and no process mushrooms are poisonous so now you understand understood that how you can draw these plots and uh, analyze your data set right so i am uh, leaving every uh, other graph on you you should draw it and analyze your data according to you now i am coming to data pre processing that means now i am converting all the columns into integer format so that i can feed my data into the model right so i am using a label encoder so as you can see i am using label encoder from uh, sqlearn dot pre processing and i am giving it to data frame that means i am applying um, each and every column of my data frame this function that means df dot apply label encoder dot fit transform that means label encoder function is going to get applied on each and every column of my data frame and now i am printing the head so as you can see each and every character that was given in the column is converted into an integer right so in class only two integers are there one and zero one means uh, let me go up and check what is at the first position that means poisonous so one means poisonous and zero means edible now i am dropping the class column for my x data because that class column i want to keep it in y right because it is my it is going to get converted into x train and y train so as you can see using train test train, train test split i am converting my whole uh, data set that is x and y into training and testing right and test size test size i have given it 0.3 and random state as 0 now i am first of all uh, building the decision tree model so from sqlearn dot tree i am importing decision tree classifier and uh, giving this to variable dt which is also give, having two other parameters that is a random state and max depth as 5 and then i am fitting my x train and y train into my dt that is my decision tree and then i am checking the score so as you can see the uh, score for decision tree for my training data is 97 uh, around 97.7% and then i am uh, uh, then i am predicting the values for x test data uh which is going to get stored in predictions now i am uh, importing uh, accuracy score from sqlearn.matrix for getting the accuracy score of my testing data so then i'm uh, using accuracy score and giving it the x y test that was the that were the uh data for the that were the result for x test and these are the predicted values uh, by my decision tree model for my x test data so i am taking the Oh, what is the accuracy for my model that is 98.27% right now let's come to random forest then i am importing random forest classifier from sqlearn.ensemble and uh, saving it into a variable that is rf with max depth as 5 then i am fitting my x train and y train into my rf then i am checking the score so it is 99.1% which is better than decision tree right then i am again predicting my values for x test data and then i am checking the score for x test and y test which is 99.1% uh, almost same and then i'm checking the accuracy for y test and prediction that means these are my predicted values and these were my original values which were expected so they are almost 99.1% correct that means my accuracy for random forest is 99.1% so this is my inference that decision tree accuracy is 98.2% random forest accuracy is 99% right so there is a typo it is random right so this is my inference and these are the attributes you can refer it any time and i want a suggestion i should continue in dark mode or i should switch to white uh, mode right and one more important thing as you can see the time it is 11:24 pm 24 december so wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year and be safe and this much for this video so keep coding keep innovating and thank you